today we're going to be talking about cardiovascular health and physical activity. Basically cardiovascular health is essentially anything to do with your heart, veins, arteries and blood vessels throughout your body. As we touched on last week, um, there's a lot of scientific evidence, medical evidence out there that supports the benefits of physical activity for the cardiovascular system. We will try and pick this apart today and show you why physical activity is so important for your cardiovascular health. Okay, so the, the main type of exercise that's been shown to benefit the heart and the blood vessels and arteries the most is called aerobic exercise, sometimes referred to as cardiovascular exercise. So basically the, the aerobic exercise system uses oxygen to fuel the muscles uh, during exercise. It's usually quite low intensity exercise. So for example, things like tennis, running, uh, brisk walking, they're all aerobic exercise. Okay. So why does getting enough exercise, and specifically aerobic exercise, reduce your chances of developing diseases related to the cardiovascular system? Well, that's what we'll try and answer now. Okay, so as we said before, aerobic exercise uses oxygen to fuel the muscles. This oxygen is carried in the bloodstream, so the main organ in the body responsible for getting that blood around the body is the heart. And this here is a diagram of a heart. It's not completely anatomically correct, but it's good enough for what I'm trying to explain here. Okay, so the heart basically pumps blood around the body, oxygenated blood, through the aorta, which is this artery here. Uh, pumps it around the body to the muscles. So when you start exercising, what happens is your heart rate increases and the blood flow increases as well with the demand the muscles put for more oxygen. So over time, if you do exercise regularly, this will lead to the left, the left ventricle, which is this chamber here, to increase in size. And the blood comes in here, oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium, which is the top one. It then makes its way into the left ventricle and gets pumped up through the aorta to the rest of the body. Okay. So as you exercise, your heart rate increases. So the left ventricle is going to be working harder to pump this blood around the body. And what this means is that when you're resting, your heart will adapt to be able to hold more blood inside the left ventricle and it will also be able to push the blood out with more force with each beat. So that's an adaptation to aerobic exercise and that's why it's important to meet the guidelines. Okay, so over time this ad adaptation to the left ventricle will take strain off the heart because when you're resting, which you'll be doing most of your life, your heart won't be working as hard to pump the blood around the body because it'll be able to hold more oxygenated blood between each beat and then with each beat it'll be able to push a larger volume of blood around the body so ultimately you'll get a lower rest in heart rate and you'll have an increased volume of blood pumped around the body with each beat. Aerobic exercise will lead to an increase in the size and the volume of the left ventricle and the myocardium which is this part which is basically the heart muscle. Okay. Uh, but one thing to, to bring up is you'll often hear stories of people having an enlarged heart. And it's basically the same thing. This part of the muscle has grown and become bigger, but it's not for the same reasons that it has for people who are physically active. For physically active people, the heart has grown due to them increasing the heart rate for a short period of time when they're exercising and the heart's adapted to that to get bigger and stronger. But for people who have an enlarged heart due to various diseases, which we'll talk about in a minute, the heart has got bigger because it's constantly having to overwork. And so these muscles, myocardium, get much bigger. And what that means is that the heart needs a bigger oxygen supply itself because it's a muscle as well. So the heart has more demand for oxygen, which means it's working hard to supply itself with oxygen as well as the body, which means over time it's going to overwork and you're going to experience problems like heart attacks, etc. So don't get confused with an enlarged heart due to exercise and an enlarged heart due to uh, ill health, basically. Okay, so physical activity and a lack of physical activity can have 
a big impact on the hire itself, but it can also have a quite a big impact on the arteries and the blood vessels that support the heart and that get used by the heart to pump blood around the body, which again has a knock-on effect on the heart itself. We'll talk a bit more about the effects of physical activity on the arteries and the blood vessels now and how these affect your health. You have a massive scratch on your arm too. You're no, hardcore. No, no. <laughs> Let's just say it's a birthmark or something. Just say you're in a knife fight.